This morning in family time, over two years ago, the world shut down and people started taking on different hobbies and activities to pass the time. Maybe it was knitting, baking bread, learning to play an instrument. Whatever the case, it was an escape and a way to bring joy to your life and at times to others. There have been many pandemic projects, including this one in Chapachet. We opened in 2020, right in the middle of the pandemic. It was a pandemic project and a way that we could share this beautiful land that's been in the family for so long. Uh, I've always had a love for trains and it's kind of a way that we managed to put that together. And it's a nice little, I like to think of it as a little oasis where people can come and get out of the modern day grind for a few minutes and just relax. The train itself was custom built for us uh, by a gentleman named Todd Swan in Lufkin, Texas. He is an absolute craftsman. This was prototyped on an F3 EMD diesel, about circa 1948 or 50. This particular unit has a uh, 30 horsepower diesel engine that turns a hydraulic pump and then there's a motor on each axle which drives the train. They accommodate riders young and old. As a matter of fact, if you put a car, just the way the dimensions work out, if you put a car seat in here and turn it around backwards like you would in a vehicle, it seems to work really well. We've had riders from two weeks old to we had a lady celebrate her birthday at 100. No matter your age, you'll feel like a kid when the train whistle blows and you feel the gentle rumble as you make your way down the tracks. We like to give everyone old-fashioned entertainment at an old-fashioned price. Everyone rides for $5 per ride. We have a discount program for active duty and veteran military, that's $3.50. If we have a veteran or an active duty military member in the party, the whole party gets the veteran's rate. And children three and under are free. I think it brings uh, very positive attention to the area. There's some beautiful hiking trails in the area and it gives people some, to, some other things to do. The center of town is loaded with antique shops and whatnot, and I think, uh, I think the northwestern part of the state is uh, sort of a hidden gem. No two rides are alike. You might see different wildlife, like this morning when I was out for my test run, there were deer on the track. Sometimes we've, we've got a fox, we've got a family of red-tailed hawks. You never know what you're going to see. But one thing you'll definitely see, the joy. Even when you couldn't see the smiles, you could see people's faces light up. We've had people tell us that their child had their first experience here. That was the first time they left the house because of the pandemic lockdowns. I kid people, but I'm only partly kidding in that uh, the train runs on diesel fuel, but the engineer runs on smiles. So I, I just love to see the look on people's faces when we pull back in. It's a perfect place to take the family and take a look at their cute shop where they have native honey, maple syrup, candles, lotions, knitted items, and so much more. You can actually check it all out when you go inside to purchase your tickets. Now the train ride is a half mile loop, but they have plans to expand. They even had holiday lights along the way last winter. So if you're ready to hop aboard Harmony Railway, check out their website. We have a link on roadshow.com.